You guys are playing for something this late in the season. There's not a lot of teams out there that are, so that's got to be pretty exciting for your team. It is. We're, uh, we're excited for the weekend. We kind of battled some flu bugs and injuries, things going around, so it's taken us uh, a little bit of time this week to get organized and get the game plan in. But the last couple days have gotten better and better, and uh, we're fired up and ready to go. You guys beat Wayne State last week, and that had to have been a pretty satisfying win for you as a coach and as a program. It is. It's, uh, you know, it was against a good top-ranked team. The kids played hard on all sides of the balls, the special teams, the weather conditions, they played with a lot of passion, a good all-around win. You guys have Crookston this week and they haven't won yet, which might even make them a dangerous team, so to speak. It is. You know, you have to fight against that, battle against that, driving over in the bus, getting off the field and playing in that, but, you know, we've harped on that all week long. I think our leadership has been good. I think we've been ready to, to play every game. Um, I, I really, really believe we're ready to go. Do you, um, it's just late in the season. You guys are playing meaningful football. Do you guys think you'd be here at this point in the season? I, I thought we were you know, going to be a much improved team. I thought we had a pretty good team. I said that at last spring. I said it at the end of the two-a-days. And uh, you can see that we're better. We're probably even further along than uh, you know, I could have hoped, which is the good news. So uh, you know, the expectations were there, and I think we're uh, living up to them right now. Lance and Derek have played well throughout the season have been really consistent. Um, that has to be a good thing that they've been this consistent throughout each week this season. Yeah, they've gotten better and better. You know, they both have important roles as a lot of guys do on the team. They're filling them uh, with a lot of passion and they're playing good football. You guys are playing some meaningful football here at the end of the season. We yeah. can still talk about playoffs. So it's got to be pretty exciting for you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, just going, beating our uh, 2006 record would be awesome. Can't go eight and zero anymore in the conference, but still get out there and make some, uh, make a name for ourselves, get ranked. Do you guys, do you guys feel pretty confident that you can do that? Oh yeah, definitely. If we come out this week, get what we need to do done, and then come up for Duluth and be strong, that's a playoff game right there. So, uh, how do you guys approach a game like Kirk's? I don't think you should overlook anybody because uh, Saturday, anything can happen. Definitely. So, uh, come out there and play like we play every Saturday so far. You guys beat Wayne State last week in a pretty uh, pretty entertaining game for you guys. What stands out in that game to you? Uh, just holding them under 200 yards total offense and stopping them averaging 505 yards a game. That was definitely the best part. <laughs> and you guys have been practicing and playing some pretty uh, pretty crazy weather around here in October. Snow, rain, ice, everything. You guys are a pretty weather-tested, battle-tested team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think when you come up to Bemidji, you have to be. So it's really cold and wet a lot. How do you feel about the team where you guys are at right now heading into the last month of the season? I think we're doing really good. Uh, just injuries is killing us. Uh, too many guys are getting injured and trying to keep everybody healthy so we can finish out the season strong. You guys are playing some meaningful football here late in the season. Uh, you can still talk about playoffs and there's a month to go. That's got to be a great thing for you guys. Yeah, it's definitely a good feeling knowing that there's a chance that we can make the playoffs. So we got to keep every week playing hard and see what happens. And uh, you guys beat Wayne State in you know, a very big game for you guys. And I think, if anything, it may have earned you some respect around the league. What did that game mean to you guys? It uh, definitely meant a lot to us. You know, they're coming in number 14 team in the nation, and uh, we definitely played a, a good ball game against them and showed, uh, showed how good of a team we are. And you played a big role in that game. You caught a touchdown at the end that helped ice the game. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that play? Um, well, 4th uh, fourth and, uh, fourth and twelve. Um, Ran, uh, ran down the hash, a seam, and uh, the safety kind of came up and jumped on a route, and then that was uh, helped me get open over the top, and then Boomer saw me and just perfectly threw the ball. So You're converted quarterback. You played quarterback in high school. Now you're a wide receiver. Why don't you tell me a little bit about how that transition has gone for you? Um, it was a little uh, little tough at first, going from throwing the ball to catching it, but uh, you know, uh, as a quarterback, I was able to read the routes, and you know, that's how I got, got the idea on how to run routes. So it's, uh, it's going pretty well now. Do you like being a wide receiver? Yeah, I love it. I love catching the ball and making plays. So. Um, you guys have Crookston this week. They haven't won yet, so I imagine there's probably somewhat of a danger summer. You could overlook them just because they haven't won yet. How do you guys approach a game like uh, We're approaching it just like we did last week. Um, you know, things can happen week to week, and uh, we just go in there, play hard, and play the way we should be playing.
How do you guys feel at this point? You guys got a month left in the season. How do you guys feel? We're uh, we're feeling pretty excited about the, our season, the way it's going, and uh, hopefully we can finish strong.